Hello, hello, hello. Happy Sunset Musing. Today is Wednesday, the 28th of April. It's Dr. K here. Oh, we're going to have a beautiful sunset again. Um, we're going to have a little cloud and then I think hopefully a tiny bit of the sun will show up again. But at least for right now, there's a beautiful sunset. So let's enjoy this moment. Can you hear the birdies? They live in the saguaro. Ah, hello, so beautiful, I know. And the birdies here in the saguaro is where they have their nest. Aw, must be some babies in there. I don't know if you can hear them. Well, we may have an early sunset. There is a cloud right there. Hello. But that's okay. <laughs> Thank you, son. Kind of puts the day in perspective, doesn't it? To witness the sunset. There you go, thank you. Maybe the cloud will move and we'll see a little bit more. And if not, that's okay too. Bye. <laughs> so these saguaros, oh my gosh, they're so tall. I have no idea. I have no idea how old they are, but they are so tall. And uh, I don't know if you can see, but so many birds actually live in those. Hello. Hi. Yes, you can hear them? Oh, I'm so glad you could hear them. So, it is so beautiful because today I was talking to a patient about the sunset and sharing with her um, the time of the sunset is so, hmm, that's when I use the word magical, but it's a powerful time. And it was interesting. She kind of understood and she thought, okay, that makes sense. I, you know, I'm going to go and view the sunset. And then as we, it was a new patient, so we were getting to know each other. And then she's sharing this profound experience she had this weekend with me. And she said, oh my goodness, you know, so I was explaining to her what I see from the, sometimes it's so helpful. I mean, ultimately we are too meant to go through our healing journey on our own and the biggest healing happens within us and the transformation happens when we get the ahas and and it happens for us with us in us and and often it is important to have somebody to stand i don't know about holding space that is kind of misused a little bit but it's more being witnessed by another human being is sometimes very important in order to it's almost like i am going through my process and somebody is witnessing it and they're not trying to fix it they're not trying to tell me what to do they're just there and because they can be in that energy of who i am it sort of almost becomes okay for me to see myself if that makes sense and so i get these ahas just by oh look at that you guys it must be the truth look at that the sun is coming back up i always get so excited about that like a little kid ah dancing in the sunset rays mm. so as the sun is coming back to grace us with its presence as we're sharing this and I'm kind of giving her my view and my witnessing of her, it, it's like everything resonated so well. And then she goes and shares this experience with me. She says, I think what you're talking about is what I actually was able to be and allow this weekend. And to her amazement, it says, she says, it happened right as the sun was going down. I remember looking at the wall and looking at the time where the rays were coming down. And she thought, oh, wow, I wonder. It was like that 
that sense of wonder i wonder you know it it has been a powerful time whether we are witnessing the sun directly like we're doing right now all of us or whether we just take moment even if it's a couple minutes where we just close our eyes take a deep breath and almost like become present to who we are at the time of sunset and sunrise <coughs> Because what happens, the energy is opportune for us to be able to see more of who we are. Hmm. It's pretty simple, but very powerful. Thank you, Solon. Oh, you see, I did not think we'll have, um, we'll have this beauty coming on. So as we are enjoying this, and thank you for being here with me, I've seen three new patients today, and my take-home message from every single one of them is, wow, they were all women, um, and I thought, wow, what power, what power moves us and drive us to keep going and not to give up you know even going through so many hardships and through so much trauma and through so much oh there's nothing wrong with you you're just making it up and through I don't know how to help you this is just something you have to live with or through all of that and not being seen and understood and and witnessed and yet it's I, I literally I remember just sitting there in amazement and I kept thinking to myself wow we just keep on going there is this innate power this inner strength and courage that um, that just doesn't allow us to give up because it knows it's like the soul knows there is more there is a bigger purpose to life Oh, thank you, son, so much. That was so beautiful. Oh, look at that last little peeking. Little peeking. <laughs> Reminds me of being a little kid, just like peeking, you know? And then having everybody sort of like, find me, find me. <laughs> While I'm peeking from behind where everybody can see me. Oh, that was beauty playing hide and seek. Oh, there's a little motorcycle. Ooh, somebody on a motorcycle. We can hear them. There's the birds and there's the motorcycle. We get it all. Oh, I'll show you. Look at the opposite. Oh, look at those. Look at that sky over there. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Very powerful. The sunset. I would love to hear from you. What, you know, I would love to hear from me as to because what I am experiencing uh, myself and with a lot of um, friends and patients that I see is I was sharing that with you on that Sunday with the recap it wasn't time of sunset it was a little bit earlier because I didn't have the Wi-Fi then but remember I was sharing with you I am really feeling that this this profound time of this pandemic and everything it's like this one almost like it's a collective trauma you know it's a trauma to the human collective and what happens with trauma personally individually and collectively usually there comes a point where the trauma becomes a powerful transformative um, agent and we move past the trauma and we become stronger as an individual and i really feel it's happening to us as individuals like we're being really pushed past our limits of what we thought we're capable of and able to do and we are being pushed that as a society and as countries and as humanity really so I am I'm suspecting this is a huge invitation to really own our powers our individual power and our power as humanity and so as I'm seeing these, these patients one by one just keep on going and and trying so hard to 
um, to get somewhere to create healing to become something or be loved by somebody or create a loving relationship or I mean you name it there's always there's this striving for more for better be I, I be better in so many ways and I remember just sitting there today and as we're witnessing the sun we're being asked to be agents of change yeah yeah oh big time and then I thought in that moment can we just take a breath and and allow our it's almost like and allow the power of who we are the 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 incredible amount of energy that we are as a single human and as humanity but right now as a single human can we just create space within ourselves like create a container and let it just come and descend for once without having to try something new without having to become somebody else without having to be better and do better and be more abundant and be more it's like we are better already as we are it was it was so clear I was just sitting there and I just I just wanted to give this beautiful person a great big hug and just like it's okay it's like right here is perfect and let's just catch all of who we are for once oh how about that I know I know I know thank you for all the notes there you guys I'll show you the Sun is just like look at that I'm not left-handed so I'll switch it but I want to show you there's a little beautiful cactus still this is a choya let's check it out oh isn't that just lovely and there's a little butt right there next to it most of the cactus is already uh, bloomed but it's so nice to see a little guy here like this. Oh, what do you think? I would love for you to, yes, we're perfect as we are. And for some reason, it's so hard to own it and embody it. And so what I would love to invite us, and here is why, because we're, remember when we started, we are in year five right now. So 2021, two plus two plus one is five. And it's a profound year of change, of movement and of change. Hmm. And what that also means is then when there is another five, which is the month of May, is we're moving into five. Look at that, that's beautiful. <laughs> so that is that change and that movement and that invitation to move to become thyself really is so much fortified during the month five and we have basically today 28th 29th 30th so we're in that you know we had that powerful full moon on the 26th we're moving the 30th will be friday and then saturday is the first and here we are in the month of may look at that beauty very powerful month so um i i just would love to invite us to be be open to what is to come and i would love for you all to share feel free to make a video feel free to post it on on your facebook and tag me or post it on my facebook and um i just so appreciate you coming and sharing this beauty with me and with everybody else and thank you for joining me tonight um it was a, a brief share about um, today's experience and I think the take-home message is um, honoring and respecting and really receiving the beauty and the truth of who we are so thank you thank you thank you big hug and have a beautiful night take care <laughs>